It's actually kind of fun, even though I have terrible balance. Hi, this is Katie Fernbacher with GigaOM TV's Green Overdrive Show. And I'm here in the factory of Orja, which is a fuel cell maker. And this is Sanjeev Malhutra, CEO and founder of Orja, and they make fuel cells. How are you doing? Doing fine. How are you, Katie? Great. So tell me about um, the fuel cell and kind sure. of what it does and what you guys use for it. Right. So what you see behind you is one of our production lines for making methanol fuel cells. Now, typically, when we say fuel cells or when anybody talks about fuel cells, they associate it with hydrogen. But this is the first of its kind of what we call a liquid alcohol fuel cell. What are the benefits of the methanol fuel cell versus other types? So the combination of the fact that it's a liquid, widely available, and made from sources available in the United States, and C, or, or rather the fourth benefit is that it's a very low cost fuel. Okay. You can get methanol for less than $2 a gallon. So <clears throat> this is a methanol fuel cell, and this is an opened up chassis of a methanol fuel cell. This system, when complete, can deliver about one and a half kilowatts of power okay. or 1500 watts of power. And what we have here is essentially, this is the fuel tank that stores about three gallons of fuel that is sufficient to go for two shifts of operation anywhere between 12 hours to 16 hours of operation, okay. continuous operation. And that's and all the methanols in there? That's all methanol there. And this is where the methanol is uh, filled up. Okay. So it's a quick coupler kind of what they call brake coupling. And uh, essentially, like I said earlier, it takes less than a minute to fill it up. Yeah. And so what do you guys do with these fuel cells? What types of applications? Sure, so these fuel cells are used as onboard battery chargers. And uh, what that means is essentially, this is going to sit on top of a vehicle. In our case, we're using it for forklifts. And okay. these are battery powered forklifts where like electric vehicles, the battery powered forklifts also have the range anxiety. So what that means is that the batteries run for four, five, six hours, and then the battery has to be taken out physically. Right behind you, you see these kind of cranes that take out these batteries. These are huge batteries that weigh anywhere from 5,000 pounds down to about 3,000 pounds that run for four or five hours. And they have to continually swap these batteries in a distribution center or in a production facility. So what this fuel cell does is essentially it sits on top of the forklift and continuously charges the battery. Okay. So it gives it a range extension of 2x to 3x. So basically two, three times of range extension is provided by this fuel cell and operating at a cost which is probably about 20% uh, of what uh, they typically use with charging the batteries and swapping them. Yeah, and I hear you guys have one at the factory that we can drive? We definitely will let you do that. All right, let's yeah. go. So here it is. Yes, this is the Urja fuel cell. And on top of a battery, this is uh, a type of forklift that they call uh, pallet jack. And this fuel cell is what they call an onboard battery charger. So essentially, you see these cables. These are the battery cha charging cables. And they charge the battery. And when the battery is fully charged, essentially provides power to the pallet jack or to the forklift. And uh, that, that's it. Okay. It takes about uh, 10 minutes to install. There's no design change to the forklift or to the battery. And uh, off you go. All right, I'm going to drive it. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Be my guest. All right, here I go. Everyone backs away slowly. So can I get a jump? 